You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off extorting the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork. It's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him? Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, offer him an out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> See you up and breathing, Connie. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. He got kind of crazy when you was taking over the warehouse in River Road, but I got out all right. Heard you know something about the Barclay train yard. Yep. This is more independent, like, between the two of us. That friend of yours in the nice tan suit figured you need eyes and ears on Pete Santini's shipping operation. What's Santini up to? He's a protection man here in Barclay. You want to see whatever you put on a train end up where it's supposed to be? You got to pay Pete's people. Sounds kind of small time for one of Marcano's outfits. Give the man a prize. Ever wonder why this city's got so many guns? Marcano and Enzo got Santini running them. You bust up them deals and you put the hurt on Pete's business. All right. I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Be seeing you. You know the drill. Lean on Santini's people, see what they got to say.
gonna shoot somebody. Oh, I forgot my fucking earplugs. Fucking trains rattling around are gonna wreck my ears. Use huh? mine and give them back later. They've been in your ears. Yeah, my ears, not my ass. <laughs> Christ, princess. How's it going? Shit's going down, boys. Here! Over here! Stashing the money. Rest in peace, asshole.
Say it like that. What? You think I'm too old? Well, how old are you? Well, what difference does it? My fault. You really been to work on Santini's business. He ain't gonna be moving from guns in <laughs> God damn, you make an impression, boy. Didn't mean no offense by that. Listen, it's not setting well with Santini that people think they don't have to pay for protection. And it sounds like no one trusts him to deliver on gun deals like usual. Imagine that's got him pretty pissed off. <laughs> got him, Enzo, and Marcano looking weak. Going over to the train yard. Santini's there now, trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do. Been fun, Connie. Keep it tucked up out there. <laughs> if you don't get to Santini, Marcano will. Might as well put the poor bastard out of his misery. Ah! Watch it, you two y'all.
Enemy over here. Some are going down. Got a body here. Spatted one, boys. <clears throat> I can make this work. Guess you were wrong. <laughs> I need some of your boys in Barclay Mills. Right. But remember me the next time you have a district to divvy out. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months, did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. That orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved helping those boys. <laughs> 